Hi, and welcome to the latest video by Hubs, when we try to analyze the different aspects of GNC machining from different videos online. I'm Michele, I'm a mechanical engineer, and today we will be talking about CMM. Let's go. What is CMM? Well, CMM stands for Coordinate Measuring Machine, and it's a specialized tool to measure the coordinates of a component in space. It can measure the exact position of points on the object's surface in three dimensions, and it's used in industries such as aerospace, automotive, uh, medical, anything that requires a high level of accuracy. They're used to check dimensions of quality of products and reverse engineer parts. And CMM allows manufacturers to measure and analyze parts accuracy to make sure that they meet the required standards. So when it comes to components, a CMM machine mostly consists of a sturdy base or frame, as you can see right here, as well as a measuring probe, which is usually mounted on a moving arm, a control system, a computer, and a specialized software for data analysis. Uh, there are different types of CMM machines, and they're each suited for each application. We have, for example, bridge CMM, which is the most common, um, gantry CMM, horizontal arm CMM, portal CMMs, and optical CMMs. So each type has its advantages and disadvantages, of course. The most common one is bridge CMM, like you can see right here. And you can see that the machine has a bridge-shaped structure that covers the entire measurement area, which allows you to measure the objects with a high accuracy. This type of CMM is also known for being strong and long-lasting, which is why it's often used in factories where it may be exposed um, to tough conditions. The measuring principle of CMM is triangulation. Through triangulation, it finds where points are on the object being measured. And if you look at this clip right here, you can clearly see that it's trying to measure all the way around it. What happens is the probe touching certain points on the object surface, of course, and the machine records the exact X, Y, and Z coordinates of each point. When we talk about accuracy, CMM is unbelievable. Of course, by accuracy, we mean how close the measured values are to the true values, uh, while precision means how consistent and repeatable the measurements are. CMM can measure dimensions with an average accuracy of one micron up to less than a nanometer. That's crazy. When we talk about CMM, we also need to mention how the machine improved over the years. Many modern CMMs are equipped with automated features that enhance the efficiency and productivity. For example, here, the CMM has a motorized probe head and a robotic arm and comes with a software algorithm for automated measurements and data analysis. The good thing about CMM is not only uh, the measuring power that it has, but also the huge amount of measuring data it allows to gather. Advanced software tools are used to analyze and interpret this data, generate reports, perform statistical analysis, and compare measurements against CAD models or predefined tolerances. What you can see right here is just an example of the software used to gather that data. Here it's super magnified, but you can see what is going on with the tolerances of this part. It's very precise. By collecting and studying these large amounts of measurements data, manufacturers can find problems and make changes to the production methods, and this can help them work better, uh, reduce costs, and make better products. I know what you'll be thinking, CM is cool, and you are right, and it's also very precise, but there are some limitations. Factors like thermal expansion, environmental conditions, and the size of the machine can play a crucial part in deciding what machine to buy. Uh, there's something to keep in mind, of course, and let's, let's not forget that CMM is relatively expensive. It requires a skilled operator and has a st substantial setup time. Let's not forget that, like every technology nowadays, CMM is also still improving. There have been major breakthroughs in the past years about laser scanning and white light scanning, and this is definitely revolutionizing the way data and measurements are taken. This is it for our CMM video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.